Hello, welcome back. My name's Maria McMahon. I'm a British certified therapist and I work with men and women to help them heal from narcissistic abuse. I'm going to talk about a question that I've had many, many people ask me. And that question is, was I stupid to fall for a narcissist? And over the next three videos, I'm going to give you three good reasons why not. Okay. So an awful lot of people ask themselves this question and beat themselves up relentlessly for being so stupid. On top of that, they feel guilt, shame, hurt, grief, anxiety, and complete confusion when they feel compelled to go back to their abuser. Okay. Now, narcissists are complicated, cunning people. And I want you to know that you know, if this has happened to you, it was absolutely not your fault. You need to stop blaming yourself. You need to learn the truth and start healing. So I'm going to share the three reasons with you in today's series. So number one is that narcissists are brilliant manipulators. Narcissists are typically quite brilliant at manipulating people. They can be utterly charming and when they unleash their charm offensive on you during the love bombing stage, they'll very quickly start mirroring your behavior, your movement, your body language patterns. They'll seem to love everything you love, like everything you like, dislike everything you dislike, and there seem to be so much synchronicity. And this enables them to very quickly build a powerful rapport between the two of you you feel like you've never met anyone who gets you quite like this, who is so on the same wavelength as you. And this doesn't just happen with romantic partners. It can happen with any narcissist who targets you for their needs. And I can say, you know, example, two of my most recent clients that I worked with had their lives almost destroyed one by a friend and the other one by a work colleague and the person at work had to leave her job because she just couldn't handle being in the same building as the narcissist anymore and they both felt this utter compulsion to be with this person to understand them to be close to them and they shared things with them that they never shared with anyone before and this is what narcissists get you to do by forming this false bond with you. One that you understandably, but mistakenly feel is genuine bonding. But it's not, of course, because narcissists have no real sense of self. Everything about them is fake. And unfortunately, by the time you realize it, you've already become a victim of horrendous often sustained narcissistic abuse. But you couldn't possibly have known that this kind of deceit even exists. Unless, of course, you were raised by a narcissistic parent, in which case there's a whole bunch of other reasons why, even though you recognize the behavior, you still get drawn into it. And I'll talk about that in a different series. But coming back to you know, someone who doesn't know and who hasn't been raised with narcissists or toxic people, there's just no way you could possibly have figured this out, you know? And the other thing that's important to know is your level of intelligence has absolutely nothing to do with it. I've worked with incredibly intelligent people. I know for a fact that, you know, doctors, lawyers, teachers, psychologists even, have been duped by narcissists. So it's got absolutely nothing to do with your level of intelligence, okay? So the next one I'm gonna talk about is part two of this video, <laughs> video series, okay? So I'll see you very soon for the next part. Bye for now.